It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've been seeing these new Cheetos footballs, cheese flavour, knocking around in all of the supermarkets recently. And I thought to myself, these things are everywhere. They must have like a, a big launch coming. So out of curiosity, I'm gonna do a review of them. Now, they are walkers here in the UK. These are made by walkers. But it's funny, I, I just find that um, they've obviously really gone. They're really running with the Cheetos branding at the moment. Um, it was all about kind of what sits for a long time. But the last six months, certainly, it's been nothing but Cheetos in the UK. So I thought, what are these going to be like? Without further ado, let's get them open. Here's a look at them. Like little veiny things that, that slightly resemble footballs. Really, really crispy. Really crispy all the way through. They're much harder than what's it's normally a, a what's it cheese will just like almost instantly melt on your mouth, whereas these are more much more crispy crunchy crispy crunchy and you're still thinking wow crispy crunchy and then they start to to melt in your mouth real maize like flavor that's, not, that's the main ingredient is maize or cornmeal corn and they've made it taste like a bit of a grilled cheese a bit of a, like an American grilled cheese sandwich mmm if you've ever what we call a, a grilled cheese sandwich in the UK is a cheese toasty and if you ever let the toasty machine cool down a little bit and you see the little bits of burnt cheese on the toasty machine now I always pick them off and eat them and it's they call them burnt ends don't they there's a name for everything these days but these taste like that kind of grilled cheese cheese toasty kind of slightly burnt cheese flavor they're quite they're quite nice quite nice I imagine with a couple of beers, these would be spot on. And they're flying down, yeah, they're really enjoyable. I'm just trying to think in the UK, something that resembled these from years ago. I don't think there's anything. Not in my memory that is as crisp and crunchy. So I can see why here I'm looking at it on the back of the pack. It's cornmeal and corn oil. So they've used corn instead of maize. In the UK, it's all maize snacks. And that was the mistake I made at the beginning of the review. I, I, I instantly called them maize because normally these things are made from maize. But they're not, they're corn. And it's a different texture. It's a completely different texture. Lots of milk in these. There's even some carrot, carrot and radish as a food colouring. And a little bit of paprika. No surprise there. I think in any 
coloured crisp, golden coloured crisp, orange kind of colour. 99.9% .9 of the time it's paprika that colours the, the crisp up. Um, so cornmeal, corn oil, cheese flavour, lactose from milk. Flavourings contains beef powder, whey powder, whey, whey powder, not whey powder, from milk, cheese powder, and then all your different flavour enhancers, monsodium glutamate, disodium in, in inner cyanate, disodium guralate, oh my goodness me, do I carry on eating these or, or do I put them down? <laughs> It's like a horror story on the back of this bag. Smoke flavourings. Sugar, salt, and then the carrot and radish, which is a colour. And the paprika, which is also a colour. Okay, um, what do we have? Oh, look at that. Look on the front of the bag. We have the... All the different fat contents down here. So they are red for the fat, which is 12%. And that's for a 30 gram serving. I'm probably going to wallop the bag down now. 1.1% um, of your saturated fats. 1.1 uh, grams, sorry, of your saturated fats. 6%. Sugars, 2%. And salt, 11%. But of course, you need the salt to preserve these crisps in the first place. All right. Um, I love the crispy crunchiness of them. Really do. Hmm. In all honesty, the reason why I kept on passing them in the supermarkets and not bothering reviewing them is because I thought they might be slightly boring. I thought it won't make for a very entertaining video, you know. At the end of the day, there's a guy in his kitchen eating Cheetos cheese ball flavours. If it was chilli flavour or hot and spicy, then it's a different ball game altogether. But then I seen them today in another supermarket and I thought, these are a big lunch, I'm going for these. And of course the football season starts tomorrow. It's a direction walkers are going in, I feel, that's more American. Believe it or not, it's more American. We're not kind of... It's strange. Walkers, what's it? I shouldn't say, sorry, not walkers, but what's it? Were such a strong brand in the UK. Hugely, hugely strong brand. Everybody knows a what's it. Walkers own that brand, what's it? They also own Cheetos, which is the American version of the what's it. All of these companies are owned by PepsiCo, by the way. Walkers are owned by PepsiCo. Cheetos are owned, Cheetos are owned by PepsiCo. And, and you just think that maybe the American company in charge, right at the tops, PepsiCo, are saying, maybe they don't quite understand the Walker's What's It's brand over in the UK, hence the reason for them to push the Cheetos so much. That's all I've seen for months now is Cheetos, Cheetos, Cheetos. And for the older generation, they won't really know it. They will know what it's. But for the younger generation who are generally spending a lot of time on YouTube and have probably seen their favourite reviewers eating Cheetos, then it makes perfect sense to push this brand.
They're very nice. I've eaten half the bag, look. I'm gonna rate them. Hundred and thirty grams of crisps. They're based in Leicester, Walkers in the UK. There's nowhere on this bag that says they were made in Leicester though. All we have is just the address and where to get these crisps from. But I like them. They're nice. Bit sad to see what is going by the wayside a little bit. But then again, that's business, isn't it? That's business. There used to be Golden Wonder Watts it's when I was a kid. They're nice. I like them. I like the crunchy, corny kind of flavour to them, rather than the maize. They're an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.